What's good everyone, Charlotte here, bring you guys another episode of my Bandless Freedom series. The cards we're going to be discussing today are Necros of Unicorn and Necros of Brionic. So we're going to do a 2 in 1 this time. So I definitely think these cards can come back from 1 to 2, so both of them at 2. Um, even though I'd love for these cards to come back to 3, I try to make this series as fair as possible and like decide what's best for the game. So I decided to definitely bump these cards up to 2 because p bumping them to 3 would put Necros at full power, round about full power relatively. So I think it wouldn't be as fair to uh, bump these cards up to 3 with um, cards like Insector, um, Dragonfly and Hornet still on the list even though they deserve to come off. So we're, we're going to... Um, Keep it fair for now. So if you guys don't know what our Necros of Brionic and Necros of Unicorn do, I'll briefly explain their effects and then explain why I think they can come off the list. So with Necros of Brionic, it's pretty simple. You can discard him to add a Necros monster from your deck to your hand. And his field effect is he can shovel back two extra deck monsters back into the deck. So if it's Pendulum Monsters, they go back to the main deck. So that's extremely strong against like the Clee Fault match matchup when uh, back in full power Necros format. And then Necros of Unicorn's effect is he can, he's a floodgate for all extra deck monsters, so he can negate the effects of all face of extra deck monsters. That's really strong because obviously like, it, it wasn't as strong against Burning Abyss because Dante could still mill, but he wouldn't gain the attack points. Against decks like uh, Shadal's, their window, uh, Windows effects were negated, uh, Construct's effect was negated, so <clears throat> that was pretty good. And then Unicorn's uh, monster effect, uh, uh, hand effect is that you can discard him to add back a Necros card from the graveyard to your hand. So that's a, a good, ca good uh, card for recovery. So I definitely think these cards can come back to two because the deck does not function with these cards that one. So if you guys don't understand, I'll explain that. So Necros of Unicorn, you want to uh, summon him by using um, Kaleidoscope. So Kaleidoscope and sending Herald of the Arclight. And then you'll get your search of Herald of the Arclight because Herald of the Arclight says... That when he's uh, sent to the graveyard by a um, uh, sent to the graveyard, then you can add a ritual monster or ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. So obviously you want Unicorn in the field for the search of Herald and for his extra deck floodgate effect. But the problem with that is you can't use his hand effect then when Unicorn's at one because what happened because obviously you only have one copy so once you get him on the field you wanna you won't be able to use his hand effect and using his hand effect was really important because unicorn was one of the cards that let necros play less copies of their boss monster so guys don't know what it means like necros of trishula what people decided to do is a lot of the time they'd cut this to one now i personally played one or two i bounced between both of them because sometimes i like two for his using trishula's hand effect as well but a lot of the time um people only played one so with a uh, necros of uh with necros of unicorn it allowed that recovery so you can cycle back for Trishula and you can use Unicorn to get back Trishula. So that's why they cut Trishula down to one because it was really easy to get him back. But now even though we have cycle at three, it's best to sometimes get Trishula back to your hand because you, you don't have access to cycle for example. Because um, like you've already used both your copies or you don't have spells in the graveyard to banish or you have monsters on the field so you can't banish the spells so you really do want to get that Trishula back to your hand but you can't really do that anymore because to get to Trishula in the first place you have to summon Unicorn so that's why I think Unicorn come back, can come back to two to allow the deck to have more recovery and allow them to like stop playing like more than one copy of Necros of Trishula or even like more than one copy of Necros of Decisive Armor uh, if you guys like playing that card and then the same reasoning behind with Brio is that most of the time you want to use his hand effect to get your Trishula because the way Necros are playing right now is they're um, relying off their first turn play. So their first turn play will try to be an OTK with like a Manju, a Unicorn, a Trishula and then any other Necros monster for the OTK. They'll try to like finish you off within the first couple of turns because the deck really hasn't got much recovery anymore because of how many cards are hit on the ban list. Without cards like Shurit that counts as the full tribute, then the deck isn't really working anymore. Obviously, I still think Shurit can come back to one. That card is fair if it comes back to one. But then you ha then to make their first turn play stronger, because that's what they rely on, we, we, we started playing cards like Brilliant Fusion and even the Kaiju engine. I haven't got any Kaijus for some reason. I need to pick some of them up. I never found it necessary to buy them for some uh, because I've never put Kaijus in any of my decks. Except like my Necros Kaiju deck, but... That's not completed to be uh, to be honest, and I still need to pick up some of them cards for that. So they have to play cards like Brilliant Fusion and um, uh, the Kaijus just to make the deck's first turn play stronger. And that's what I don't like. The deck should be able to be played as pure as possible because the pure version is really the strongest. 
So th because we, we, the, my thing with Brio is that you want to discard him to add your monsters, but then once you've done that, it's hard to get him on the field. And his field effect is really strong, one of the strongest effects, to be honest. Because like, if you manage to bait out their Dryden, you can use Brio to shuffle back their Dryden and their Emerald if, you, like, don't, if you're like scared of whip tails or something. And that's really strong, because getting rid of Dryden and just chucking it back in the extra deck, even though they can use it later on, is still really good, because it stops them from being able to use whip tail to banish like, your Brio and your Trishula. So you want to use Necros of Brionic's monster effect as well as its uh, hand effect to search but that's not possible when you only have one copy of Brio because you definitely want to always get that search effect just to uh, manage to like push forward and get through with your Trishula plays. So it really, these two cards, without both of these cards at two or even at three but obviously as, as I've said before two is fair. Without these cards, that too, it really hurts the consistency. Like Necros, if you didn't know, were like probably the most consistent deck of all time because we had like Brio at three, we had uh, Manju, we had uh, Preparation of Rights, which can stay at one or maybe bumped up to two as well because um, they have bumped it up to two in the OCG. So Necros were an extremely consistent deck, but the issue is right now they're not consistent. It's uh, like they, they do break a lot because we. Um, have to like replace Shurik with Kaza and Kishki Vision. So that's why I believe in combination with these cards, if Shurik was at 1, Unicorn was at 2, and Brio was at 2, then the deck would be more than playable and it would be capable of combating the meta. So like, Necros isn't even a good rogue option anymore because good rogue options, in my opinion, are decks like Invoke Lights 1, which can compete. The problem with Necros is it's hard for them to compete right now because they have no recovery plays, and that's my issue. Uh, Unicorn and Brio definitely need to come back to you to allow recovery plays. So the main two reasons are, one, we need Necros of Brionic and Necros of Unicorn for recovery plays and to have enough resources. And two, we need them to be able to use both their effects and utilise them to their full potential. So that's my uh, reasoning on why I believe Necros of Brionic and Necros of Unicorn can come back to um, two. I definitely uh, definitely believe that because of the, the reasons I've stated. If you guys like the video, please thumbs it up. Comment, subscribe. This has been Shurit. Peace.